first tonight at 10, we take you to two dueling rallies right here in the capital city. News 3's Mark Lovacott has more on how both sides are pulling out all the stops in this home stretch. It really is the home stretch, Sarah. The candidates, they are hitting the road for the weekend leading up to Tuesday, Election Day. But their supporters, they're trying to drum up support right here at home. We're here to stand in solidarity with the people of Wisconsin. Uh, the workers in the middle class of Wisconsin are trying to oust a horrendous governor. That was Tom Morello from the band Rage Against the Machine. He and many other performers took to the stage tonight at the Labor Temple on Park Street for a rally. It'll be a busy place tomorrow with volunteers spending the weekend there reaching out to voters. A few miles away, a Tea Party rally took over the grounds of the Align Energy Center. That's where a national Tea Party bus made a tour stop, kicking off its cross-country trek. We're here to help and to uh, applaud what is going on and urge the changes that the governor has made and uh, some of the legislators have made uh, to brighten the future of Wisconsin. Tea Partiers say if Governor Scott Walker and Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish win on Tuesday, it would create momentum for the presidential election this coming fall. It's going to be a busy few days for both candidates as they are indeed in the home stretch with their eyes on Tuesday. Tom Barrett will be spending tomorrow campaigning in far northern Wisconsin while Governor Walker, he will be traveling statewide all weekend. And all eyes across the country certainly on Wisconsin. They really are, yeah. All right, thank you, Mark. You bet.